Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. The title of our lesson today is Medical 5, page 12 and 13. نفتح كلنا على صفحة 12 عندنا number 8 reading. Before reading قبل القراءة, do you think animals ever form partnerships to help one another? Explain. هل تعتقد أن الحيوانات تشكل شراكات لمساعدة بعضها البعض؟ اشرح. الإجابة إذا تعتقد إيوة تقدر تقول yes I think so نعم أعتقد ذلك وإذا لا تقدر تقول no I don't think so لا لا أعتقد ذلك. Pages 12 and 13. 8. Reading. Animal Partners. For animals in the wild, each day is a struggle to survive. They must continually search for food while at the same time keeping themselves safe from predators. Some animals have learned that teaming up with another animal makes the struggle to find food, shelter, and safety a bit easier. This kind of special relationship in which animals depend upon and benefit from one another is called symbiosis. One of the most visually surprising examples of symbiosis occurs between the fearsome African crocodile and the small plover bird. When a plover is nearby, a crocodile will open its long, sharp-toothed jaws to invite it inside. You might assume that the plover would quickly reject this invitation and fly off. Yet surprisingly, the plover does hop inside. Perhaps even more amazingly, the crocodile, normally known for its aggression, does not snap its mouth shut and have the plover for a snack. Instead, it remains still, not closing its mouth until the plover leaves. How can this strange behavior be explained? The answer is symbiosis. The plover picks out all the small pieces of meat stuck between the crocodile's teeth. In doing so, it cleans the crocodile's teeth, which prevents it from getting infections. Because the crocodile cannot clean its own teeth, it depends on the plover to perform this service. In return, the crocodile provides an easy meal for the plover. In some cases of symbiosis, like the crocodile and the plover, each animal in the pair benefits from their relationship in a different way. However, in other cases, the animals share a common goal. This is true of the honey guide bird and the ratel, a furry creature with short legs and long claws. Both these animals live on grasslands in Africa and have an appetite for honey. As its name suggests, the honey guide has a special ability for locating beehives. However, this small bird cannot open a beehive to get at the honey. To accomplish this, it teams up with the ratel. Ratels are a perfect match for the honey guide as they love honey, are large enough to crack open a hive, but have no ability to find hives themselves. The honey guide flies over grasslands looking for a hive. When it does spot a hive, it swoops down and makes a noise to alert the radal. The radal uses its claws to tear open the hive. After eating its fill, the radal invites the honey guide to finish the leftovers. Another two animals that team up to compensate for their own weaknesses are the zebra and the ostrich. These two animals often travel together. This is no surprise since they are a perfect match. While the giant flightless ostrich has poor senses of both smell and hearing, the zebra has acute senses of smell and hearing. On the other hand, the zebra has terrible eyesight, while the ostrich has excellent eyesight, enhanced by its long neck, which enables the ostrich to see far into the distance. In this way, each makes up for the other's deficiencies. As a result, the animals are far safer together than they would be apart. Ostriches can see predators, such as lions, far in the distance, while zebras can smell or hear others as they approach. Birds and land animals aren't the only ones that work in symbiotic pairs. Some sea animals, like the clownfish and the sea anemone, do as well. Sea anemones, which look like plants, 
are actually dangerous animals with poisonous tentacles. Most fish stay away from anemones to avoid being stung. However, the clownfish makes its home among sea anemones. It does not get stung because its body is protected by a special coating. Living among the deadly tentacles of an anemone has a clear advantage. Most predators stay away. Another benefit for the clownfish is that it is able to eat the anemone's leftover bits of food. But what is the advantage to the anemone? There are several. First, the brightly colored clownfish attracts predators. When the clownfish swims under the anemone's tentacles to safety, if the predator follows, the anemone has the chance to sting and eat it. Other services the clownfish performs are cleaning up food scraps and dead anemone tentacles and chasing away fish that might eat the anemone. While many symbiotic pairs may first look like odd partners, the benefits they provide one another are invaluable and may make the difference between life and death. In fact, it is often these animals' very differences that make them perfect partners. بعد ما خلصنا نقرا النص ننتقل لل after reading بعد القراءة answer the questions قم بالإجابة على الأسئلة نقرا الأسئلة number one explain the meaning of symbiosis اشرح معنى التعايش number two in what way do the African crocodile and the plover have a symbiotic relationship بأي طريقة أو بأي علاقة تكافلية ارتبط التمساح الإفريقي Plover. Number three, give an example of a case of symbiosis in which each animal has the same goal. قم بإعطاء مثال عن حالة تعايش يكون فيها كل حيوان له نفس الهدف. Number four, name two animals that make up for each other's deficiencies. How do they do this? أذكر اثنين من الحيوانات اللذان أو التي تقوم بتعويض عيوبها البعض عيوب بعضها البعض كيف يقومون بفعل هذا؟ And number five, what benefits do the clownfish and the anemone offer each other؟ ما هي الفوائد التي يقدمها كل من سمكة المهرج وشقائق النعمة؟ الإجابات number one, symbiosis is a relationship in which two animals depend upon and benefit from one another. التكافل هو علاقة يعتمد فيها حيوانان على بعضهم البعض ويستفيدون من بعضهم البعض. Number two, the plover cleans the crocodile's teeth, which prevents infection and provides a meal for the plover. يقوم هذا الطائر بتنظيف أسنان التمساح مما يمنع العدوى كما أنه يقدم وجبة للطائر. Number three. The honey guide bird and the rattle help each other get honey. The honey guide bird fights the hive and the rattle tears it open. يساعد طائر دليل العسل والراتل بعضهم البعض في الحصول على العسل. يجد طائر دليل العسل الخلية ثم يفتحها حيوان الراتل. Number four. The zebra has bad eyesight, but good senses of smell and hearing. The ostrich has poor senses of smell and hearing, but good eyesight. الحمار الوحشي لديه بصر سيء، ولكن حاسة الشم والسمع جيدة. النعامة لها حاسة شم وسمع سيئة، ولكن لديها بصر جيد. Number five. The anemone. Provides a safe home for the clownfish and leftover food. The clownfish attracts prey to the anemone, cleans up food scraps and dead tentacles, and cheeses away fish that eat the anemone. يوفر شقائق النعمان منزل آمن لسمكة المهرج ويوفر لها أيضا بقايا الطعام كغذاء. تجذب سمكة المهرج الفريسة لشقائق النعمان وتقوم بتنظيف الطعام والقصاصات والمخالب الميتة. 
ثم تطارد أو تطرد الأسماك التي تأكل شقائق النعمة. ننتقل number nine speaking. Number one, work in pairs groups. Think about your relationship with a good friend. What can you offer each other? اعمل في أزواج أو مجموعات فكر في علاقتك بصديق جيد ماذا يمكنك أن تقدم له وماذا يمكن له أن يقدم لك Number two Complete the chart with your notes and use them to discuss in class أكمل الرسم البياني بملاحظاتك واستخدمها للمناقشة في الفصل طبعا زي ما تشوفون أنا قدني كاتب الإجابات داخل الجدول بقرأ أول شيء اللي فوق اللي باللون الأزرق What can you offer your friend? ماذا بإمكانك أن تقدم لصديقك? How does it help your friend? كيف هذا يساعد صديقك? What can your friend offer you? ماذا بإمكان صديقك أن يقدم لك? How does it help you? كيف يساعد؟ نبدأ بقراءة الإجابات اللي أنا كتبتها. طبعا لو تلاحظون في فراغات حطيتها بحيث أنك أنت تضيف أفكارك كمان. فنبدأ بأول خانة على اليسار أول إجابة اليسار Listen to his or her problems أسمع المشاكل أو مشاكلها طبعا إذا أنت ولد بتقول Listen to his أما إذا أنت بنت بتقولين Listen to her تمام بعدين عندنا I offer advice أقدم نصايح I encourage and support him or her أشجعه أدعمه بتقول him إذا أنت ذكر و her إذا أنت أنثى أو بنت أوكي الخانة اللي بعدها الإجابات This will make her or him comfortable and I can solve it هذا بيخليه أو يخليها مرتاحة ومرتاحة وأنا أقدر أحل هذه المشكلة الإجابة اللي تحتها It may help him, her, make good options هذه النصايح ممكن تخليه أو تخليها يأخذون قرارات جيدة الإجابة الثالثة This will help him or her progress and achieve What he, she wants. هذا بيساعده أو يساعدها في إنهم يوصلون لأهدافهم والأشياء اللي يبغوها. نيجي للخانة الثالثة. What can your friend offer you? الإجابات he or she can provide me a moral and material support بإمكانه أو إمكانها تقديم الدعم المعنوي والمادي لي. الإجابة اللي تحتها he or she stands Beside me when I encounter difficulties and problems. بإمكانه أو إمكانها الوقوف بجانبي عندما أواجه مشكلات وصعوبات. تمام؟ نتقل لآخر خانة. It can help me continue to fulfill my dreams. هذا بيساعدني في إني أتبع أحلامي. تمام؟ اللي تحت. It can make me get over the difficulties. هذا بيساعدني أتخطى الصعوبات وبكذا نكون وصلنا لنهاية الفيديو See you next time